everybody! I almost totally forgot that I had to do a voiceover for a video to get it ready for tomorrow. I was too excited because I got some goodies that I have to play with. Well, not have to, I want to play with them. So anyway, I'm working in my creative diary for my spread. Well, actually it's this week's spread. So I'm painting the background black because I've already done that page before and I didn't want to do it again. And look it, this is Megan's new stencil. So that's Megan Wisner Quinlan. She designed this stencil to fit in the Creative Diary. Actually, they work in all of the large Dilutions journals because Megan uses the classics. But it will work in Diane's large regular journal, the classics, the Creative Diary, the Jumpstart Journal, any of those large ones. Now, Megan has a video showing how she likes to use it, and I just love it. I couldn't do it the same way because where I'm using the Creative Diary, it's already, you know, it has a design on one page, and then it has, like, the days of the week on the other page. But go watch her video so you can see how she does it because it's really really nice and it makes it quick and easy to do like a planner layout so anyway i was going to go on and explain more but i'm going to totally miss what i'm doing in the video <laughs> so i decided to take half like a little portion of that well, it's not an oval, like a rounded rectangle, I guess that's what you'll call it. And I thought I would join those little bumps that are underneath it. I thought I would like the look of it, but I didn't. So for the rest of them, as you can see, I left them separate. Now I'm just going to go in with a white Posca paint pen and outline them like messy, like very loose, because that's the way I like it. And I don't think I said, but the paint I'm using is Dilutions Black Marble. It's my favorite black paint. I've yet to find one that tops it. So while I have a second about Megan's stencil, if you want it to line up on the page properly and not get any go over, your rectangle, your large rectangle, needs to be either in the upper right corner or the lower right corner. But again, watch her video and she will show you all of that. So I'm just writing in the days of the week and I don't remember what else. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. I use the stencil quite differently than Megan did, um, which I kind of knew I was going to anyways. I mean, we're a lot alike, but we're very different as well. So I was bound to do something different with it. And I wanted, like, I wanted the shapes on the page, but I didn't want to have to paint them. So I went in with some Distress Ink and I'm using Abandoned Coral. And with having the days of the week there and the lines on the page, I can't do it just any way I want, which I can totally see. Like, I like that Megan uses the Classics Journal because she has complete freedom because there's nothing on the pages. So that is a nice, you know, a nice difference in the journals. So here I wanted like a gradient going down so I use sponge sugar with the abandoned coral. And that foam piece was so gross and so yucky. I had to change it. And once I did, I wasn't getting all those little flaky sponge bits all over my paper. So even though I didn't, like I didn't feel like I got to play with it properly because I had actually already started this spread, like I painted the background black before I even got Megan's stencils. Like I didn't even think I was going to get them in time to use them on this spread. 
So I already had that done before they came. So I had to work with what I had. Although I can't see me having been able to use this stencil on the other side because there was just too much going on. So I just used like tons of squares and rectangles because it's no different really than what I do with Diane stamps. Like I put in little blocks to jot notes in and or to journal or whatever. So it's like the same idea except, you know, there's color and there's actually a bit more room to write. So this is the small stencil that comes with the large planner stencil. It has these cute little images that you can add into the rectangles or you can use them on their own too. But there's a couple of flowers there and you'll see underneath there's two different shapes and she uses them as little houses and it's not even something that I think of like I think of banners like little flags and then I have to remind myself that she designed it for house <laughs> I always forget it I'm like it would be so cute as a house but my brain just sees banners every single time or little flags so that's what I used it as. And there also is like a big banner and a star and then some lines like bullet lines for the big rectangle. And I think doodling inside of those shapes just really make them pop. I love the look of them. So going back in with Megan's large stencil to use that leafy pattern and add some, I'm going to call them scallops, even though they're kind of like bumps. I just love it. I love it being like a solid color and then just doodling in them. Just love it. Like I don't find you need to do much with it. Like it just, it just works as it is. So I'm doing that thing that I like to do. I decided like it really actually looked nice as it was, but I decided to do a little bit more and go around it doing that little black and white checkered border thing that I like to do. Plus it kind of tied in with the other page doing it as well. Just adding in a little bit of Diane stamps. They would not, I don't know if the ink was still wet, but they would not stay down on top of the distress ink. And I didn't add a whole lot more on that side because I didn't feel like it needed it. And I really, really, really like that side. The other side that I do, not so much, I'm not a huge fan of, but this planner side, I love it. Like it looks full, but at the same time you have tons of room to write stuff in which to me is perfect. So that is abandoned coral. I thought I would add that color in on the other side. And that's just one of those um, brushes that are filled with water. I just decided to use that one and dip it in my thing because I didn't want to have to get a brush out and clean it and all that stuff. That is spiced marmalade. Just adding a little bit of splatters. Okay, so I'm taking some Distress Oxides and some Distress Spray Stains. This is an oxide in Victorian Velvet. I meant to grab sponge sugar, but my labels, my tops must have gotten put 
got put on the wrong bottles. <laughs> and the other color is Abandoned Coral. And then I'm going in with that Spiced Marmalade again. And I'm just smushing, getting some color down. I was first trying to go for like a round flower, but that wasn't quite working. So I just got the color down on the paper and smushed it about. But I am going to use it for the flower. Now this is not from the planner set. This is from Megan's first release where she had a set of three. She had um, a long one that was two hands and then she has this one and then the other one has a bird. Oh gosh, my memory. Let me think. Nope, I'm not remembering. Okay, I just checked and I know why I couldn't remember another shape other than a bird. Because it was just another smaller bird. <laughs> that was a good reason for me not to be able to remember. <laughs> I couldn't think of any other shape or design that was in there. Oh, too funny. <laughs> I haven't had a whole lot of time to play with them. There were some ideas I had in my head when I was waiting for them to come. But the flower is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, so I don't know if it's going to work. But we'll see. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I had a lot of fun with the bird and the hands. And I did a flower too, but the bird and the hands are my favorite. I did collage with them. I really love how it turned out. So here we go. Like I said, I'm not overly thrilled with how this side of the spread turned out. But I do love that left side. Now that is Dina's blushing paint and I could not get it to show up very well. But it kind of gave it like a chalkboard look if chalkboards came in pink. So I didn't totally mind. It's just, it's not what I wanted, but it's fine. And to me, when I was doing it, it went, like, it didn't look like abandoned coral, but it went with everything else better. But looking at it on the camera, it doesn't really look like it does. So I'm using that bullet um, in lines. And I just did it messy. I like how it looks. I didn't really like how I wrote the word remember, but it gets covered up. Not permanently covered up, but for the most part it's covered up. And I just did handwriting for the quote. I, you know, kind of may have exaggerated some of the loops a tiny bit, but not really. It's almost like my handwriting. So you know how I like to do like the side and underneath? For this one, for the writing, I only did the left side. I didn't go under as well. There's really not a whole lot more that I do. I'm looking forward to fooling around with the stencil some more. 
I think after maybe after I'm done the creative diary I may just get like a plain dilutions journal to do it I don't know we'll see I have some pages left before I need to make that decision <laughs> but I would like the freedom to do whatever I want although I probably wouldn't have time to do it if it was all blank I think that's what makes this actually doable is that Diane has started a lot of it for you so that little thing that I'm adding up there that was from Megan and I totally forgot that I wanted to add it to my page <laughs> so ideally I would have put it down where that flower is but I completely forgot until after I had it done so then I thought well I don't like how I did the remember and the quote works fine without seeing it so I decided to just paper clip it on there so that is it for my creative diary spread and I hope to share some more creative diary spreads with you using Megan stencils talk to you again soon bye so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.